Roxy Davis, your business and success coach. And I come to you every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. That's our new time, 9 a.m. Eastern. And then I come back in the evening at 9 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Thursday, okay? So go ahead and put that in your calendar so you'll know that when I'm on. But God bless you. Thank you so much. Hey, 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 IG. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Facebook. Hey, everybody, I appreciate the shares, appreciate the hearts. Thank you so much. Good morning, beloved. I see you, I see you. Good morning, good morning, Shelly. Hey, Haley, how are you today? Haven't seen you on here. Good morning. Yes, 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 I'm so excited that you've chosen to show up for the accountability group. We just get together for about 10, 15 minutes just to make sure that we're having a great day. We're programming our day, commanding our day. Right, and so I'm excited. We wanted to make sure we were on here so that the people on the West Coast wouldn't have to get up too early so that I could serve as many as possible, all right? So let's go ahead and get started, get started, get started. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Tracy Davis. I'm a business and success coach. And um, you can visit me at mysuccesszone.com, mysuccesszone.com. I have all of my courses, my one-on-one -on -one coaching opportunities, uh, classes, all those kinds of things are available there. Uh, I have some free things as, as well. So make sure you check those out, okay, and visit as often as possible. Right now, we're actually during our morning sessions covering my book, uh, Push Points with Tracy Davis. Of course, it's backwards on there. I'm sorry about that. Don't know how to fix that. But um, yeah, this is an amazing book. Um, if you're wanting to shift your mindset, you're wanting to be more positive, more focused. It's one of the best, best books I've written. I've actually written eight books. And um, I highly, highly recommend this for everybody, right? Um, it's really, really practical. And so today we're going to be talking about the mindset. Uh, just really continuing what we started on yesterday. And with in particular, we're talking about garbage in, garbage out. A lot of us have heard that when we're talking about computers and things like that, okay? So that's what we're going to be talking about. If you don't have this, why don't you, right? You need to go ahead and click that link in my bio, get you an ebook. Of this you can get the audio or you can get the physical book of this I know you'll be blessed the way you'll be blessed is if you read it though okay you gotta read it okay now I want to talk about garbage in garbage out I want to talk about controlling our thoughts I think it was about three four days ago in the middle of the night probably like three four o'clock in the morning I, the Holy Spirit said your thoughts watch your thoughts and I just love when he speaks to me like that because he's talking to me, right? And so that I can make sure that I don't get caught up in the negativity. There's so much negativity that's happening, right? And so watch your thoughts, watch what you're thinking. And so I want to share that with you this morning, right? I want to make sure that you are watching your thoughts as well. And in this particular, let's see, this morning we are on page, for those of you that have the book, we're on page number 25. And it's chapter three where it says a mind is a terrible thing to waste, right? And so I take a lot of time to really talk about mindset and how you can reprogram yourself and all of that. And so I just want to give you a couple points from it. Okay, those that have the book will get the benefit of all of it. But just a couple things from it when you're looking at how am I thinking? Because your thoughts are actually creating your destiny. Wherever you're going, it's because your thoughts will take you there, okay? Your thoughts are really your inward GPS, and so you have to be mindful of how you are thinking. If you aren't, don't like where you're going or don't like what you have, the results you have in your life, it's tied to your thinking because when you think a certain way, you're going to act a certain way, right? And so those actions are what's producing whatever you are manifesting in your life. So I really want you to start to pay attention to how you are thinking. I call it stinking thinking, right? You wanna get rid of the negativity and replace it with positivity, replace it with positive things, okay? So another thing that you want to take it uh, take a look at is who is programming you, right? We're always being programmed in some way, um, television, social media, you know, uh, whatever spiritual connection that you have, you're being programmed, right? And so you have to take a conscious effort to say, wait a second, I'm going to take control of the programming. I'm going to take control of what I am thinking, right? Who I am plugged into, all of that, okay? And so how do you actually change how you're thinking? If you know that you are not where you want to be, you know it's tied to uh, your thoughts, how do you change that? Number one is with repetitious information, right? Uh, repetition is the mother of all learning. That's how we learn. We continue to hear something over and over and over and over and over again, okay? So if you know that you have negative thought processes, then what you'll have to do is know what it is that you need to replace it with and then have that information uh, fed to you repeatedly, right? From a repetitious standpoint, over and over and over and over again. Because it, as I've said so many times before, you're working on you. You are your greatest project, right? And so you want 
to do that with repetition and repetitious information, something that you want to hear over and over and over again. Okay. That's going to be important, but you want to make sure not only that you're hearing information, you want to make sure it's the right information. Okay. Now I line everything up uh, with the word of God. If it does not line up with the word of God, then that's the information that I want. Okay. In Philippians chapter four, Verse number eight, God tells us how to think. He said, think, think on thoughts that are lovely. Think on thoughts that are pure. Think on thoughts that are you know, kind. He tells us how to think. So if you find yourself not thinking pure thoughts, not thinking lovely, not thinking honest, right? Not thinking a good report, then you have to replace that, right? And so you can take that from the standpoint of when you look at your bank account and it doesn't say what you want it to say, you cannot you cannot say, uh, uh, you know, oh my gosh, I'm broke, right? Because that thought is going to lead to depression and things of that nature. So you have to line things up with what does God say? He said all your needs are met, right? According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So that's something that you definitely want to do. All right. I'm not sure why D. Lovis is laughing. <laughs> Tell me what's funny so I can join in, okay? All right. So repetitious information, making sure you get the right information. Then you want to make sure that whatever it is that you're reprogramming, you're reprogramming yourself with is vivid, right? You want to have you use your imagination, like the commercial of your life, whatever it is that you're wanting. You want to make sure that it's very, very vivid. You want to make sure that it's very, very specific, right? That these thoughts that you have, because thoughts become things, right? If you think about it, you grab those thoughts, they can manifest in your life. And if you don't want that, if you don't want a negative report on your body, if you don't want, uh, a, a negative anything. Oh, it's okay. No problem at all. No problem at all. Uh, the emotion that's attached to it is going to be important as well. So as we're reprogramming ourselves, we have repetitious information. We are uh, vividly imagining it, right? And then we're attaching feeling to it. Okay. So when you have a thought that tries to come, if you don't feel any kind of way about it, it's not going to affect you. But if a thought comes and you receive it, and then you have the emotion tied to it, negative or positive, that is something that you are receiving, right? And then of course, you want to make sure that you look at the source, consider the source. I always say, consider the source. Whenever someone is sharing something like, right now we're having to be very very conscious of the news that's coming out right you have to consider the source you have to consider what are they programming me for i'm very very uh conscious of that that's why you have to turn the television off that's why sometimes you have to stop scrolling because you are being programmed whether you realize it or not you can be programmed to hate you can be programmed to want something i mean i one of the examples that i've used over the years is like i remember a commercial all the time it says choosy mothers choose gif now, I don't know if they still say that or not because I don't watch that much television. And if I do, it's probably not something with commercials on it. But choosy mothers choose Jif, right? So I'm a mother. When I would go to the store, what am I, what am I choosing? I would choose Jif. Yeah, I would see Skippy and all that. But a choosy mom chooses Jif. What? They were programming me. Have a Coke and a smile, right? Uh, you know, all those different kinds of things. They were programming you to say, you know, you, you need a Sprite. You need to go and stop by Starbucks. You need, you know, to have uh, this from Tiffany's. You need this, right? To feel better about yourself. All these things were programming you. If you don't like what you've been seeing in your life, you have to change those thoughts. You have to detach yourself from them. I love how the Bible tells us the capture thoughts. If it's trying something that's trying to come, you capture it. It's like, no, no, I'm not receiving that. I capture it and I cast it. Okay. I capture it and I cast it. I don't want any part of it. Look at all these uh, uh, posts that I'm getting on here. Let me move that out of the way. All right. Very, very good. So I just really want you to be mindful of how you are thinking because thoughts do become things. I want you to make sure that you are intentionally programming yourself by reading positive things, listening to positive things, listening and attaching yourself to positive people so that you can actually reprogram uh, how you're thinking so that you can have better results in your life. Okay. So we want to grab the thoughts. We want to make sure that I'm thinking positive, right? Think about things that make you happy, that bring you joy. And guess what? A lot of times to do that, what I can do to shift my thoughts is to immediately go into gratitude. When I think about what I'm grateful for, matter of fact, that's how I like to start my day up. God, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful that you woke me up this morning. I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful that I have a place to live. I'm grateful that, you know, I have uh, income that comes in regularly. You know, I begin to shift my atmosphere. Y'all know I come on clapping, right? I'm shifting atmospheres. I'm making sure that my thoughts are pure. I'm making sure that I'm positive and not negative. I'm making sure that I cancel anything that or anybody, right? That uh, is not feeding me what I need to be fed, right? I'm making sure that I control the programming, right? If I don't want to hear it, if I don't want that a part of my life, I don't have to listen to it and you don't either, okay? So a quick, quick review so we can hop off of here. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. If you keep getting garbage in, 
that's anything. Garbage in, that's what's going to come out, right? When I tell a person that I'm helping with their health, for an example, and they're like, oh, my skin is oily and oh, this, that, and the other. I'm like, what are you putting in? Because garbage in, garbage out, right? So it's the same thing with your thoughts. Uh, garbage in, if you keep hearing enough negativity, if you keep hearing enough fear-based things, guess what? That's what's going to come out. You're going to start speaking those negative things and that's what's going to manifest in your life. If you're always hearing broke things, if you're always hearing about bad relationships, if you're always hearing about all men are dogs, guess what? You're going to attract a man that is a dog, right? But if you're looking at black love types of things, you're looking at people that are succeeding, you're looking at people that are launching businesses and they're succeeding. Those kind of thoughts will say, wait a minute, if they can do it, I can do it. Okay. That's what I mean by that. And I'm hoping that you're receiving this this morning, that you're really going to start paying attention to how you're thinking, to, uh, pay attention to your moods, right? Pay attention because again, if you're thinking it after a while, you're going to speak it. And guess what? I believe that you have what you say. Okay. You have what you say. So to change that, we want to look at the information that we're receiving. Make sure it's the right information. Make sure that we're using our imagination properly, imagining, envisioning what type of day you want to have, what kind of business you want to have, or whatever. Guys, I talk a lot about business because I'm a business and success coach. But whatever it is you want to manifest, you have to really, really think about that from a vivid standpoint. You have to attach emotion to it, okay? You have to actually feel, feel it, feel it. The thought's not going to affect me if I don't feel any kind of way about it. But if I feel positive emotions about a particular thought, then it can manifest in my life. And then, of course, the perceived information of the source. So consider the source. Whenever something negative is coming or something that's not, that you don't want in your life, just release that. You don't even have to receive it, okay? So again, this is Tracy Davis. I'm a business and success coach. I come on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 9, p 9 a.m., right, to share some mindset things to help you with any mental blocks that you have. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about patience, right? Somebody actually requested that we talk about patience, so that will be our topic in the morning. And of course, if you have business ideas, need some business tips, Join me at night. I'm here at 9 p.m. Eastern where I can show you how you can actually launch your own business or scale what you already have, okay? So with that being said, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me decree blessings upon you today. I pray that God will open doors for you that no man can shut. I pray that you'll, uh, any negative thoughts that try to come to you, that you'll cancel them right away and that you'll receive the goodness that God has for you. Be safe, be blessed. May God surround you with favor as a shield, right? May everything concerning you be perfected and may he bless you mightily in Jesus name. All right. Have an amazing day and I'll see you again tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern. Coach Tracy saying bye-bye. Thanks for hanging out. Control those thoughts. Garbage in, garbage out. Bye-bye.